What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Le'Veon Bell, running back for the New York Jets. He is one of the best running backs in the NFL and one of the best to analyze outside of the backfield. He has some of the best route running I've ever seen from a running back, and today we're going to break down what makes him so special, why he's able to create a lot of separation, and why he's able to make a lot of guys miss. Let's get started. So first play, this was on Monday Night Football against the, against the Browns a few nights ago, so let's watch this thing full speed. So Le'Veon Bell's coming out of the backfield, kind of chips that defensive end, catches this ball, makes a guy I miss gives him a move inside and then this right here you just can't teach you can't teach that hurdle that's just a very impressive move very gutsy move by Le'Veon Bell but he's done been doing this since probably high school so it's second nature for him let's break this thing down so out of the backfield here his job is to just get a hand on this guy to help out this right tackle get a little chip on him maybe work him inside buy a little extra time for this quarterback before he comes out here and sits in this check down okay so his job is just chip and then go sit in this check down so and does an okay job of chipping him. Now he's sitting in this check down. He realizes that there's nobody around him, okay? He's got no guys in his area. He needs to just get this ball. He does a good job. Luke Falk does a good job of getting this ball to him in space. He realizes that if I get it to my playmaker in space, let him go make this thing work for me. Like a lot of guys in seven on seven, what they do is they try to take this shot downfield and they don't hit their check down. That's why I hate seven on seven. It's unrealistic. This is one of the most game realistic things you can do. Nobody's open downfield. Get it to your playmaker in space and giving him a lot of room to work and he's got to make one guy miss. So he bursts up field here i want you to see when he stops and when he cuts he's able to stop his feet right on a dime violent hips right here guys you want to have violent hips anytime we're trying to change direction and he makes this little jump cut to the inside here now what i want you to see is i want you to see this move that he makes he makes this kind of double move like a receiver would do out of the off the line of scrimmage he puts his foot in the ground sudden stick again his toes are straight forward he's going to be pushing off this inside arch selling like he's just going inside right now then he puts his other foot in the ground real quick like i want you to see how explosive he is a lot of people might think this is an off balance position but his hips are sinking down his chin is going to his knee that's a very explosive position that Le'Veon Bell's in right now and he's able to freeze this guy to the inside just take a little bit of a stutter that's why he's able to get so much separation then he bursts up field and then we all know the hurdle we all love the hurdle from Le'Veon Bell can't really teach that that's just pure athleticism and that's a great job making something happen catching this ball behind the line of scrimmage and then making this play make this play downfield so let's watch this thing full speed one more time gets a little chip Catches this ball, tops his hips right on a dime, one, two, explosive position, hurdles a guy, can't teach that. That's a great job by Le'Veon Bell. Okay, so now this is another play out of the backfield. He's going to be running a swing, and this, as you can see here, this is man coverage. So he's getting a lot of pressure. They're stacking the box, manned up outside, manned up over the top. So Le'Veon Bell knows he's probably going to be getting the ball. He's the hot read on this, okay? That's what we call a hot read from a quarterback perspective. So let's watch this thing full speed. Getting some pressure in his face, dumps it off, lets him go work for us, okay? This is only a six yard game this is this is a great job turning nothing into something guys getting him into a good position this is third down so it was tough it, he was trying to get that first down he's trying to make something happen I would have liked to see this on maybe second down and him just moving the ball forward but he's putting them in a position where they could go for it they're in fourth down going for it territory making a great decision trying to get up field dumping it off to our running back on this hot read so he dumps this ball off here now what I want you to see is he sees this pressure Le'Veon Bell sees that he's getting pressure it's going to be right in his face so he starts looking right now right away He's not really supposed to look until he gets a few yards outside of this box right here, but he starts looking right away because he knows Luke Falk's getting a guy in his face. He's going to be getting some pressure, and he's got to dump it off right now. So he dumps it off right now to Le'Veon Bell. He catches this thing then immediately. Catches this thing, looks it in, eyes get upfield. He's, how is he going to work upfield? Stops right on a dime. Again, sinking his hips, being in this powerful position, exploding off of this left foot, pushing up here, getting upfield right now. Now, I want you to see this stick that he makes in the ground, this cut right here. It's very sudden. He's bursting up, sudden stick, gets these guys to jump inside, jump forward, thinks something's coming, and then he makes a play, explodes right off that leg, gets upfield. Now, he avoids here with great ball security. He's got this ball high and tight. He doesn't have that ball super low. That's a great thing for running backs to have. But one thing I want you to see is anytime we're making a cut guys we want to make it sudden coming off the line sudden stick explode get up field right now so he's bursting up field here bursting up field and then he makes this kind of jump cut inside almost stops his hips right on a dime again i want you to see how explosive a position he's in too many guys try to make cuts when they're standing straight up and tall they're exposing their numbers he's in a very explosive position right here so he could produce force off of his legs come up field withstand that hip if he's standing straight up tall he doesn't take that hit he doesn't bounce right off that's a great job by levy bell let's watch this thing full speed 
one more time. Coming out, sees the blitz, gets his eyes around, works up, sudden stick, makes two guys miss, avoids a tackle, good ball security, good pad level, avoids the avoids the tackle, then gets upfield the best he can, puts him in fourth down territory. Okay, so now we're going to be analyzing, this is him when he was with the Steelers, but this is going to be analyzing his route running, okay? So what I want you to see here, we're just going to be breaking down this release. This is something he could do a little bit better of, but again, he's a running back, so it doesn't come as natural to him, so it's a little bit of a quick clip. He doesn't really get that much separation here, okay? This DB's making a good this DB's doing a good job making a play. Didn't really get him a lot of separation off the line. He's a quick guy. So what I want you to see, he does this kind of split release. This is what we call a split release, where he's splitting both of his feet and he's kind of giving a move inside, then a move back outside, splitting his feet. What he's trying to do here is he's trying to get this DB to open up the gate and go and commit to the outside, which he kind of does, but this DB does a good job of stepping with the right leg here. So he steps and then he checks with the right hand. Now, Le'Veon Bell, if he's kind of if he's going to be running a drag or if he's going to be running like an over route, this isn't too bad, but I don't know what route he's going to be running here. But off the line, he doesn't really get this DB to bite as much as he should have. He gets him a little flat footed because of the split release and he's very quick with his feet. I want you to see one, two, real sudden. And he gives this little bit of a head jab to the outside. This is so important for any kind of running back, any kind of quicker guy when they're making a release or they're doing any kind of move, giving a little bit of head and shoulder movement to the outside, getting this guy to open up the gate just a little bit, but he does a great job of giving him this hand. Now, this might be what, exactly what Le'Veon wanted, but one thing I want you to see is he kind of swims this off arm up, okay? This is one thing that running backs don't really probably don't know. I'm sure Le'Veon Bell knows this, and I'm sure he'd be the first one to tell you, but when you swim this off arm, you're exposing your entire rib cage. So what this DB can do is he could jab with his right hand and hit you right in that rib cage, knock you off this route, and kind of reroute you like he does right here and gets you off that path to where you're wanting to go. So we don't want to swim this opposite arm. We want to chop with this opposite arm, chop down, get his hands off, or rip underneath if you know what I'm talking about. But we don't want to be here and go over the top. That's why he doesn't get as much separation. But on this one, I want you to see how he's able to get a lot more separation using almost the same release. So he's coming off the line here. What he does is he just makes a speed release. So one step to the inside and he's coming off. Now, what I want you to see here, let's watch this thing full speed. Speed release to the inside, gets his hands off, restacks, sudden stick, gets to this out route. That is a great route, especially from a running back. He has one of some of the best route running I've ever seen from a running back. Let's watch this thing. So this first step on the speed release, I want you to see how his toes are straightforward. A lot of guys, what they'll do is when they make a jab, their toes are outside. And what that does is it makes this long path with their hips. He keeps his toes straight forward. I want you to see the shin angle. It's at a 45 degree angle so he can push off of there. He can push out of there right now. He's pushing. He's producing force. As you can see right here, he's pushing pushing off this inside arch here. Now, what I want you to also see is how much head and shoulders he gives to the outside. Let's watch his upper half right here. Let's watch his head and let's watch his shoulders. He gives a little bit of a jab to the inside. Now, what that does here is that freezes this DB. Look how flat-footed he is. He's not getting out of this stance. He doesn't even take a step. This is probably a linebacker, but now he understands. I want you to watch this off arm like we were talking about before. He doesn't swing that thing up. He chops down. That's what we want. It's not coming way up over him. He attacks his elbow with his right hand. That's a point of control. Attacks that elbow chops down. Now he knows because he made such a great move to the inside with this speed release that this right arm, because he's trying to take an outside release here, this right arm does not play a factor. So what he's able to do is just knows that he has to beat this off arm right here, chop, slap, chop, attack those elbows, not those hands. Don't fight those hands. Attack those elbows. And now this is a very bad position for this linebacker, this safety, to have no hands on one of the best running backs in football and one of the best run route runners out of the running back position in football. So what he does here is he starts to angle his route over the top to restack this DB. Get this DB on his hip right here. That's the position we want to be because at the top of the route, if we give him a move, we give him a shake like Le'Veon Bell does, he doesn't know which way we're going. So he comes inside. He makes this move. He angles his shoulders to the inside like he's maybe just trying to run a post right now. Maybe he's trying to run a dig, a seam, whatever he's trying to run. But then he puts his foot in the ground, sudden stick again. Le'Veon Bell does a great job of being real sudden with his feet, exploding off that inside arch, committing his shoulders to the inside. And look what that does to the DB. It completely turns his hips to the inside. He's exploding out of there. He's accelerating out of the break. He snaps his head back around. And now he's accelerating out, catches this ball for a great job. Let's watch this thing full speed. Off the line, speed release, freezes him, only has to beat that left arm, restack, sell like he's working inside, sudden stick, then get to the outside. So stick, a little bit of head and shoulder movement, sell like he's coming over the middle, sudden stick, gets that DB to move inside. Okay, so now he's going to be running a wheel route here. Now, two things I want you to notice, how he catches the ball and the tempo of his route, how fast he's going on this route. Let's watch this thing full speed. So kind of slow, kick up into second gear, gets this guy trailing him, high point 
it for a great catch. That's just pure athleticism on the catch right there. That's what we need to do. Receivers, running backs, anytime we have a ball thrown above the rim, got to go up and get it. I know you guys have probably heard that before. So right here, I want you to notice he kind of is going slow. He's kind of slow playing this thing. What that does is that gets this DB to slow down. DB or this linebacker, excuse me, a linebacker doesn't kick up into second gear. He kind of slows himself down too. Now, this is a great job, a testament to Le'Veon Bell's acceleration. He's able to kick up into second gear and he knows he could get to that spot before this linebacker, before that safety gets there. So that's why he's kind of slow playing it out of here. Kicks up into second gear. Now he's playing catch up. This is separation right here. This is separation for Le'Veon Bell. Now he's working up field. Puts the ball above the rim, go up and high point it, okay? Late hands, high point it, just jumping out, jumping this linebacker out, jumping the safety, going up and getting this ball. That's a great job, very athletic play from Le'Veon Bell, but it all came from the speed change to get this DB to play catch up. Let's watch this thing full speed. Kicks up into second gear, pumps those arms, high point over the top, great catch. Okay, so now this is going to be a route... Again, Le'Veon Bell is going to be selling speed change, and he's going to be giving this little bit of a one-two rocker step move. So he's going to be coming out, speed change, one-two, selling the out, and then gets upfield, okay? I'm assuming he caught this ball, but I don't have the full clip of that. So he's coming out right here now. He's slow playing this thing. He's attacking this leverage. So this DB is giving him the outside, okay? And that's how you know it's man coverage. He's giving him the outside. He doesn't want him to run inside. He's forcing him out right here, okay? So he kind of slow plays this thing, kind of gives a little bit of a skip, kicks into second gear to make him kick up into second gear now what he does here is we call this a rocker step he just gives a one two two moves so it's not just a one sudden stick that first move right here is selling like he's just going to be running an out route right now and what that's going to do is that going to get this linebacker to cheat up and to cheat this move so he goes one two and he puts that foot in the ground now what i want you to see is he completely bites on this thing he's trying to undercut the route it's a great job by levy on bell selling like he's just running an out so he's coming up right here a little bit of a speed change one two to the inside now let's look at his upper half his head and his shoulders are working inside, really selling like he's just going to be running this out route right now. He's not just go moving his feet here. He's keeping his toes straight forward on this angle, and he's pushing up field right here. That's a great job. He puts his foot in the ground. Again, pushing off this inside arch. Check out this shin angle. He's selling like he's just running this out right now. Foot in the ground, explodes up field, snaps that head around when he knows he's got him by two, three steps. That's a great job by Le'Veon Bell getting some separation on this route, and you're going to see how that's going to play into the next route. So again, change of speeds. One, two, gets him to bite inside, snap that thing upfield. Now, he's going to be running out. This is against the Bills. This is his first touchdown of the year here, guys. Now, what I want you to see is Le'Veon Bell's at the bottom of our screen right now. Now, he's going to be running this out route. Now, I want you to see how this thing looks. So, he comes upfield here. Slow play, one, two. And now he actually comes outside of this thing. He doesn't break this thing up on the on the seam route like we were talking about. This is how he gets you. This is a mind game. He's so intelligent that he knows that in that practice film that we saw, he was probably running this exact same route over and over again, getting them to bite, getting them to bite because of that speed change. And then he throws in that rocker step. And now this is the first part of it. So he comes out again. He kind of gives that little slow play here. Slow play shows him his numbers. He's a little bit tall. They know that something's coming. He puts his foot in the ground to the outside here, freezes him, gets him to open up his hips and give him this sideline right now. He accelerates out. He's pumping those arms and that ball's out early, very early from Sam Darnold. Look, that ball's already there. Ball's already in the air by the time he shoots his head around. He doesn't see him throw it. Quarterbacks, if you're watching this, you shouldn't be, you should be throwing this ball on any kind of out route before he sees it. He shouldn't see it leave your hand. Ball's halfway there when he's accelerating out. Great catch going down and getting it and then scoring. That's a great job by Le'Veon Bell using a speed change, sudden stick, just taking this out right now and again like we were watching if he just put this foot in the ground right here get this linebacker to undercut it he would have that same seam like we were watching in that practice film guys it's all a mind game it's all a mind game especially when we're working with linebackers we should be able to beat him so slow play stick accelerates out catches this ball for a touchdown that's a great job by Le'Veon Bell getting a touchdown on that first touchdown as a jet that's a great play by him all right guys I really want to thank you for watching I really appreciate it guys please leave in the comments who you guys would like to see me break down next and please like this video and subscribe to this channel. That would also really mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time.